Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head banging beer reviews. We're up here across the border. <laughs> Ginger Yeti beer reviews. You know what? The internet's not big enough for two gingers on YouTube, so we gotta break we we gotta we gotta break this somehow. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> What's up everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti and I'm checking in from the road. You can watch my videos. I'm up here at the uh Brewtubers get together in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Awesome, amazing time. Having a great time up here. And I'm lucky to have Chase here from Nutmeg to Palmelo. And we're about to do a beer review. Thank you for being on the channel. Absolutely, it's been a really? pleasure meeting you. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you all weekend. What a fucking weekend. Excited Sorry, to share a beer with you. Actually. I don't give a shit. <laughs> we're not under 30 seconds. We're not as, as long as it's fast as 30 seconds, right? <laughs> I had to throw some beer on there. Maybe be some editing <laughs> yeah. involved. Who beep, knows? Beep. So where did you find this beer at before I read about it? I don't know. I pulled it out of the fridge. I saw Ithaca Beer <laughs> Company. I know Ithaca's in upstate New York. I'm like, there ain't no New Yorkers here this weekend. Uh, Who the hell brought this? I'm going to give myself an editing nightmare, but I'll throw a picture of the beer <laughs> fridge up there. The beer fridge is insane. There's so many crazy beers from all over the country. But so what, what he found in the fridge is Ithaca mm -hmm. Beer Company Tropical IPA, West Coast Style India Pale Ale. It's 5.5% alcohol. Uh, not a whole lot else on the can here. West Coast Style India Pale Ale with Galaxy Mosaic and Citra. Brewed and canned by Ithaca Brew Company, Ithaca, New York. Of course it's Ithaca, New York. So yeah. It's got like 16 times on the can. Six. <laughs> yeah, I figured I had to find, try to find a hazy in there for you, for us to do together, because the other night, the first night in there, we're standing opposite ends of the restaurant, and we walk up like, the Ridge is texting? Yeah, the Ridge is texting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this, this beer, hazy, this for Ridge. I, I, I totally forgot about that. That was hilarious. <laughs> so this, this review is dedicated to Ridge from Ridgeopolis. And uh, I'll make sure to throw his link down below. I'll throw his link down below in the description. Are you a big fan of IPAs? I, well, okay. So at, at one point in my life, I drank them like water. All right. That being said, uh, my palate got tired of them after a while. They all started to stay the same. So currently, it takes a real banger of a hazy to impress me. Otherwise, it all just it, it all just falls in the ether. However, if one's done right, then like, and, I, and I do like Galaxy. So. Like when I first started doing this, I talked about how I don't like IPAs and whatever, and it's not true. I think what you said is correct. I got tired of them, got burnt out on them because all of a sudden the beer industry, the crap beer industry, just just put out a plethora of IPAs. All over the place. I go to my beer store and there'll be a new brewery. I'll see like six different beers from the brewery, and they're all six IPAs. I'm like, I'm tired. But I like a well done, a good IPA when it's nicely done, well balanced. Not some of these things where they're just trying to like punch you in the mouth, and knock you out with hops. They're actually making a well balanced beer. I'm really into those kind of IPAs. And what I will say is, I know Ridge is going to think this is sacro freaking religious. <laughs> This is a hazy pale. I'm a big fan of hazy pale because it kind of like dials down the pininess, the bitterness, where it's just a nice, easy sipper, and you can and you can just like steadily enjoy it as opposed to having to throw it back in you know a minute and a half because it warms up and the pininess gets overwhelming. Yeah, yeah, the, the pininess can get very overwhelming. Yeah. Triples have their place. Triples have their place. Don't get me wrong, but a nice hazy pale, I'm all about it. But once you start getting that quadruple sex tuples, whatever you're, you're losing, sex there. tuples. <laughs> hey now, what do you do on the road? I, I think Ginger Yeti yeah, road beers is a lot more than beers. Hey. I think a beer day with TK and I did like a quad quadruple or a quintuple IPA one time, and I bought oh, it just yeah. because that was the thing. I'm like, this is a joke. I've had a couple quads. I've had, I think I've had a one quin, and they're, they're like, at a certain point, it's like you, it's so high, you drink it. I'm like, I can't taste anything. <laughs> it's either right. it's either way overly boozy or so overly hopped. There is no discerning anything in that beer. It's just hazy, and an hour and a half, I'll be like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into the beer here. Oh, look at that. Oh, sticking my finger all ahead. Oh, Got yeah. the iconic plastic cup going. Get me dirty, baby. Get me dirty. Let's see here. I'm just gonna, it's going to be a terrible pour. You know it. I was going to give this one the to you. The iconic. But but that, that's got yeah, so much head that's in it. Right. You know I'm a member of the hard pour. See if I can pour a better one. But we can't sit here for three hours waiting for the head to die down. You know what? When TK watches this, you, you'll, you're never going to be able to give him shit for bad pours in the beer shed again. Oh, he always gives me shit for bad pours. I pour You give him shit for the bad pours. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I've, seen enough, I've seen enough of your both videos. This is not. That's not true. So let's go to the aroma first, which I just learned from. Uh, this is like a lot more Rod clear. Than, this is a lot more clear. No. Yeah, yeah because your aroma is going to. Because your aroma's going to dissipate quickly. You sometimes. don't smell your beers? I do, but not first. But now I'm going to sm oh. start smelling them first, <laughs> just in case some of those those esters and things dissipate. Because this isn't a very... 
you get more out of the can than you do out of the out of the uh, the cup. No, I disagree. Really? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting more out of the can than out of the cup. But I have. They smell the same, but it's a lot stronger out of the cup. Well, I have three quarters of head, so. Well, that's a fair point. <laughs> Looks, she looks like an ice cream sundae. <laughs> this looks like an ice cream sundae. <laughs> and it's like a, uh, I don't want to say tangerine because it's not sweet, but it's a some kind of a citrusy orange or Like a tangerine? What the hell is a tangerine? <laughs> so like, like a, yeah, it, it is, it's kind of citrusy, but not sweet citrusy. Almost um, the pithy, riny kind of sure. smell from, from a citrus fruit. Yeah, right. Pithy, pithy. Where, where did the freaking weekend right there? Now we can look at the color. Super clear. Super clear. I mean, by a hazy standard. Right, right. Yeah. And that head is just thick, pillowy, ice creamy kind of. At least mine is. Got a stash. You're going to get a stash. I do. You're going to get a stash. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to stick my nose in it at some point. I'm Cheers, sure. Brother. I have the stash? All right. Well, it's it's a little, it's like the, the very bottom edge. Shane would be just playing. That's a lot thinner than I expected. It's very thin. Yeah, it's very it's very thin. piney too. Piney and thin. Consistently piney. It's not like a lot. I've noticed a lot of the beers we've had this weekend. <clears throat> they're very piney up front, and they mellow out almost instantly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This does not do that. So I don't know if it's a Canadian water thing. Who knows? But this but, is a New York beer. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That makes sense now. Yeah, because most of them have been Canadian beers. Yeah. I mean, this is piney and thin, but it's not overly bitter, though. Mm. No, no, it, it's that nice, steady, piney flavor. I do say this would be something I'd have to, like, drink down pretty quickly. Because if I let this sit out over 30 minutes or so, I probably wouldn't like it when it gets down to about there, let alone if I was drinking the whole can. Right, right, I get that. I guess this is, like, this is just too light for me for the style, too light of a body for the style. And there's not a whole lot in the mouthfeel for this. Yeah, um, it doesn't have much of a body, I'll say that. You do got some pineiness, a little bit of bitterness, but I'm not over, overly impressed with this, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, if you gave it to me and, you know, someone's, you know, X person, whatever, uh, their selection wasn't that great, they gave me this, I wouldn't turn it down, but I wouldn't seek it out again. If I was at it, they could be a company, I probably wouldn't order it. Sorry. <laughs> so, so on my channel, I have a little rating system. If it's a good beer, you like it, you'd love to buy it again, want to buy it again, you give it a horns up. If it's one of those beers that you just described, like, I wouldn't be upset if somebody bought it for me, somebody Neutral gave it to horns. me. I'd give it a, a let it play. Because it's like, uh, what, when, when you yeah, listen yeah. to Spotify or something, a song comes on that you're like, eh, whatever, it doesn't offend me too much. I'll, but it's not something I'd normally play. You're not belting out sing along with it. Right, right. But then when it's a beer that you absolutely hate, you can hit a skip, just like on Spotify, I hit skip. Uh -huh. So I think I would have to give this a let it play. I'm super mm -hmm. stoked to try it. I'm glad that somebody put it in the fridge. I wouldn't be upset if somebody gave it to me again, but I wouldn't buy this. So it's just like a let it play for me. What about yourself? I agree. I agree. Yeah, somebody hands this to me. I wouldn't be upset. I drink it. I'm not going to you know, bitch and moan. I'm not going to complain to them. But yeah, it's not. it wouldn't be something I would seek out and go to the go to the bottle shop looking for a mixed four pack and like, oh yeah, I got to put that one in there. I will say this might be the kind of beer for somebody who's just venturing into IPAs because mm. it's not super offensive, not super strong, bitter, any of those things like that. I mean, if, you, if you're coming from a world drinking pale ales, you can move into this real easily. Yeah, the hazies that we love, the majority of the world of population probably not going to like those. So right, there, there right. is a differentiation there. Well, thank you very much for being on my channel, Nutmeg to Palmello. I'll make sure, again, put that down in the description. And like I always say, embrace the adventure. Amen to that.